Hello guys, Joan here. In this quick video, we're going to be working with TrapCode's SoundKeys plugin for After Effects. This is a plugin that generates keyframes from audio. So let's start. The first thing we're going to do is create a new composition. I'm going to call it SoundKeys and I'm going to make it 30 seconds long. The next thing, we're going to import an audio file. It doesn't matter what kind of audio file. In this case, it's an MP3 file. I will drag it into the timeline. I'm opening the property so we can see the waveform. In order to hear the audio on After Effects, we have to make a RAM preview. Otherwise, we will not be able to hear the sound. So now the next thing, we're going to create a solid where we're going to apply sound keys effect. So we go to effects, trap code, sound keys. So the solid is going to be holding the effect. You see that now in the composition window, we have sort of a graphic going on over there, blue lines, green square and a green bar on the right side. But if we go to the effect control window, we're going to select the audio layer and we're going to choose the audio file that we imported. Notice that automatically in the composition window, we have something that looks like an equalizer. So we're going to be selecting those bits from the equalizer to create keyframes that we're going to be using to control attributes from other layers. In this case, we go to range one in order to select the first range that we want to choose. Okay, so I'm going to go for this area over here. Notice how the area selected is related to the bar on the right side, the green bar. Notice how as we diminish the height of the selection range, it influences the green bar on the right side. So once we have the selection range that we want, we have to go to the effect control window and click apply. If we don't click apply, we don't generate keyframes. And if we don't generate keyframes, we will not be able to control the attributes from the other layers. So don't forget to click apply. Okay, now we can see, we wanna check how the keyframes look. We open the attribute that is being keyframed, the output one, and notice how the keyframes represent the bits from the equalizer that we have selected. Okay, next. So now we're gonna create a text, just a random text. And we're going to be controlling the opacity of this text through the keyframes that we generated through sound keys. Okay, we take a look to the attributes over there that we have in this layer. So we stay on opacity. Now, this is important. In order to open the expression option of an attribute, you have to press Alt plus click on the stopwatch. Okay, now we take a look to the output that we want to select. So on the layer, we click on the twister just to link the output one to the expression of the opacity. So now we can see how the opacity is being affected by the values from sound keys. Now, for instance, if we want to modify the output minimum and maximum values from sound keys, we can actually select them and select a different range from 0 to 100, 0 to 1, or just make them custom. Okay? In this case, what happens is that opacity usually goes from 0 to 100, so we shouldn't need to change it. For instance, if I don't want the opacity to go lower than 50, I just press 50. And notice how when we play, the opacity never goes lower than 50. I can also do it something like this in a different way. Okay, so we come back to the values we had initially, to 0 to 100. And then I go inside the expression of opacity and I add a value, whether at the end, plus, in this case, 
25 plus 25, meaning that it will never go lower than 25 because the value that I get from the expression will always have 25 units added to it. Okay, never forget to click apply every time you modify the values from sound keys. Okay, so this is it. This is basically how to uh, use sound keys to control an attribute from another layer. In this case, we control the opacity of the text layer. So that's all. Thanks for watching. And in the following videos, we're going to be working with other attributes from sound keys and learning more about it. So hope to see you there. Thanks.